Hello everybody, Mr. Boyber Jack here today. Just so you don't think that you're looking at some weird picture. Um, today I'm going to be drawing a Splatoon Girl. But not just a Splatoon Girl. Uh, a Splatoon Girl wearing my character's uniform. Because why not? And plus I didn't draw the gun and you know everything else because because I'm just a lazy dick like that. But, you know, let's just cut that beside the point. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be coloring this. And, you know what? Uh, I've noticed that my videos are really, really short. Like, too short. And I would just have, like, a little bit of me coloring it. So, um, I'm just going to, like, you know, talk to you guys while coloring. And then, like, maybe speed it up whenever I feel like it, you know? Just so it doesn't become a boring video. And I also will give my opinion on uh, Splatoon. And I can probably do stuff like this and, like, actually make it count as a review. And this is, of course, like, what I'm trying to do. Now, honestly, I don't know how to do this. Maybe I should just practice more. Like, I should practice before I do a video like this. Like, even the shoe color doesn't even look right. Like, that looks like Sonic. Uh, this is actually orange. And this is sort of, this is red. Uh, and if you guys haven't realized at this point, my red is literally dying. Now, um, I know that for Copic markers, Copic markers, whatever you want to pronounce it, uh, there is a sort of um, refilling sting uh, thing for these. And uh, honestly, uh, I I really do need to get one fast for this red because. Red is something that I use for a lot of things, and as you notice, I do use red a lot, and I've had to limit myself uh, for using orange and stuff like that, and I swear to God, someday, my orange is gonna die, it's gonna be like, just, just freaking get the, you know, filler upper things and whatever, whatnot, um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna, uh, start coloring this thing, uh, Splatoon is... I, I really haven't played the game. I don't have any really interest in playing it. I mean, I'm not really that big of a Call of Duty fan of uh, myself. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm not that big on uh, Call of Duty, for example. And uh, especially for, like, you know, a game like this that's centered for kids, which is awesome. But, honestly, it I don't know. It just... For some reason nowadays, when I play a game, it, I don't know, I, I, it feels like I don't have that same immersive feeling uh, when I play a video game. Uh, I'm not sure what to call that feeling, but, you know, it's sort of like when you have so many games in your library, uh, meaning game library, uh, while the table is shaking while I'm coloring her eye. Um, I don't know, it's just a lot of my games that I have right now, fun games in fact, like Smash Brothers and all that, I literally haven't played in a long time. And I, I think that's only because like, you know, I don't really have that many people to play with because like, heck, I only have a sister, what could you do? Um, I mean, I will eventually ask people to come over and then maybe I could do a let's play of some sorts because I still have that kind of technology. But um, I'm just not sure, uh, like, because like, buying the game like what exactly will i accomplish because i know that the co-op mode is not all that great uh only because like um when you're doing a local co-op it's uh i've heard that it's not as immersive as online and i've played online for a bunch of games before um especially you know for like any other game out there that does have online online is fun at some points in times but you will start to realize that you're just wasting a bunch of your time and you're not really having extreme fun as you would uh, when you're playing local, you know? Uh, which is why games like Smash Brothers, you know, gets kind of like repented uh, a couple of times by me only because of uh, reasons of it, um, of me being the only one there. Uh, but aside from my lonely story, uh, how is Splatoon? I honestly couldn't give you a honest analysis on it because of me not playing it but um i can say that the game looks very amazing and i mean like i don't know if it's just me maybe it's because i'm just that big of an anime fan or something like that but i don't know it just seems like somebody somebody in japan's wet dream of 14 year old kids spreading ink around and i mean like heck if you wanted to give it an m rating then just make that ink red or and uh different cases make it white yeah 
you, you guys already understand what I mean. Um, I mean, with all the jokes that could be made about it, you know? But, um, honestly, it, it really does, like, look like a really fun game. And, I mean, like, the things that they do in it is, uh, honestly something that I wish that Black Ops would have, uh, included. Because I do, I have played Black Ops before, you know, I've played it with my cousin and all. Um... And the fun part about that game is, you know, just like the local co-op and online with local co-op. But, um, like, uh, for example, like, uh, but with, uh, Splatoon, um, not only are you doing that, uh, you get to incorporate different, uh, sorts of tools, you know, to make your, uh, journey a little bit easier. And, uh, yeah, this video is already at five minutes. Um... If there is anything else I want to really get off of my mind about uh, Splatoon, uh, I guess once I'm done coloring the hair right here, then we can like start going to time lapse because I don't want to make my videos way too long. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, I mean like Splatoon, it looks like a fun game, and especially for um kind of like online and mul multiplayer sort of stuff. I've realized that it didn't have the um whole uh, what you call it going. Uh, what was that? Uh the voice chat when you're actually playing uh online and that's um i honestly i do love that feature because uh honestly if i was playing the game and i had to hear freaking kids or other squidlings like talk about you know crap and hearing a kid swear all the time that would be pretty average or how what kind of word should i say uh that would just be annoying honestly uh so i don't really care for that feature being uh taken away but you know whatever and um i have colored the hair so uh let's get down to the rest of this thing uh so i'll see you guys once i have colored a good amount of it <laughs> finished it i am kind of impressed but um uh, yeah if only i didn't waste so much orange you know i mean i complain about it but i do it anyways you know it's kind of like a hypocrite they get on somebody for doing that thing and then they ended up doing it but um yeah i just gotta like really make sure that the orange looks sharper but um yeah i mean Splatoon, it's, it looks like a fun game, but I won't be buying it anytime soon unless, you know, uh, any of my friends, like, really want me to play it with them, you know? Because I'm not gonna, like, play that crap on my own and be like, yeah, it's pretty fun, and then I just, like, you know, ended up, like, wasting money just getting it, and then putting it on the curtains for just, like, years to come, you know? But, uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys really enjoyed this one, hopefully. Hopefully. No? Oh, uh, well. Well, you know, you guys can always comment down below and, you know, give me an idea of what else to draw. I mean, like, I'm open for anything. I mean, I went from freaking Street Fighter to Splatoon. I mean, heck, it might even get as crazy as me going to uh, Mortal Kombat, but who knows? I mean, it seems pretty difficult on his own, but, you know, I can probably get a hang of it. As long as I, you know, try hard. But yeah, so that's the end of the video. Hope you guys have an awesome time. I am losing a lot of ink. No pun intended. But anyways, uh, yeah. I mean, like, it was hard to squeeze. I'm... Squ <laughs> it's hard to squeeze, uh, <laughs> uh, all this footage in here. But, um, hopefully it works. So anyways, see you guys later. Mr. Polar Jack signing out. Peace.